Ah! <laughs> Hi, Gur. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Prickly Alpaca, and today I'm redrawing some fan art for Katadora in celebration of the final season of Shira. The original of this piece is actually my most liked drawing on both Instagram and Tumblr. It doesn't come as much of a surprise though because Katadora is amazing, but I thought it would be super fun to redraw it with Shira and Katra's season 5 designs and draw the girls in my current style. I hope you guys are okay with a bit of a condensed voiceover today. I started my summer semester of college this week, so I had a lot on my plate and consequently this is a bit of a last minute video, but I want to use this opportunity to sort of spark some discussion about the final season of Shira. What did you guys think of how Shira wrapped up? I really loved season 5 as a whole, but I don't know what I really think of some of the redemption arcs in the final season. A lot of them felt pretty forced and open-ended, and I think that Horde Prime was a little weird. Uh, he seemed like a pale imitation of Father from Full Metal Alchemist. I feel like they could have tried a little bit harder to give him a bit more of his own identity. <laughs> he definitely seemed more like a classic villain with strange, I want to destroy the entire world motivations. I would have preferred something a little bit more nuanced, like some of the villains that we already had, but unfortunately all those villains sort of got quote, redeemed in a certain way or another, at least the audience weren't really supposed to see them as pure villains anymore, so that was a little bit weird because they were the people who were doing a lot of the terrible things most of the series, and they ended up kind of being watered down by the end. Um, I do like what they did with Shadow Weaver though, and of course Catra. I think they did do a solid job with Catra's redemption at least, though I still don't think it was quite on par with Zuko. <laughs> So since this is a bit of a condensed video, it does give me the opportunity to do a bit of a music feature. So I had been complaining to my boyfriend that I couldn't find the right kind of atmospheric background music that I really like to use in videos. So being the amazing person he is, he just straight up made me a song for this week's video and he was kind enough to post it as a royalty free track on his channel. So please go check it out and support him. His YouTube to handle is Tear click on the card or follow the link in the description down below. He's extremely talented and charismatic and he does covers and live streams and I think he has some exciting content cooking on his channel for the future so go check it out and show him some love. He deserves it. I hate that this has become somewhat of an update video but I did also want to say that I have some vloggish content coming up soon. Mostly me just doing slightly artistic things like dyeing my hair and tie dyeing some stuff. So if you're into that, keep a look out. If you're here for purely digital art videos, don't worry, those aren't going anywhere. They're always going to come out on Mondays. Any vlog stuff will be extra content for now until I can find a good way to incorporate vloggish content into my normal videos because I do really like film and cinematography and I'm going to try to take a couple of Skillshare classes on how to shoot better because uh, I got a new fancy camera and I want to play around with it a little bit so keep a lookout for that. I think it will also be a fun opportunity to see a little bit more of my personality since I'm a little bit stiffer in my voiceovers right now and I babble a lot so I think it'll be fun to sort of have my personality incorporated more into my content in a less awkward way. <laughs> so that's sort of the end of the voiceover stuff for now. Um, please just sit back and enjoy the rest of the speed paint, enjoy the song. And if you're new here and you really just came for the Catadora art, I am so sorry that you had to hear all of this random stuff about my channel updates and stuff like that. This isn't really normal for my videos. Please go check out a couple of my other speed paints. The voiceovers on those videos are a lot more focused on talking about the piece and the fandoms and stuff like that. So now I'm just gonna get on with the art. Please enjoy the rest of the speed paint.
Thank you all so much for watching and supporting my content. Like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more of what I do here. I'll try to have something a little bit more thorough for you next week. I have some ideas cooking that might be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for being patient with me. Please go check out the final pieces on Instagram and Tumblr. I'll have the links in the description down below. I look forward to seeing you all in next week's video. And remember, whole wheat is the healthiest loaf.